Hello, David Domenesi here. Today we have an RCBS die, 308 resizing die, and a buddy of mine got the case jammed up in the die, and they did about everything they could to get it out and just couldn't get it to budge. It's an example of using a case that's just too big for the die, shot in a gun with a chamber, probably pretty loose crammed into the resizing die without wet lube. They were trying to use the spray-on Teflon lube. And so, we need to get this brass out of this die to save this die. What I've done, first of all, is I have taken and drilled out the primer pocket with a drill that just barely fits. Okay, that's a number six drill bit. We'll put it here in our Wilton vise in the soft jaws on the knurled part you wouldn't want to do this with hardened jaws you want to mess up your knurl but these aluminum soft jaws will work good for this I'm going to really torque it down then we're going to slap it with some PB blaster and we'll bring the propane torch in give it a little bit of heat Bring in a good size wrench, so I'm just going to use the all sixteenths. And because we're using an easy out that I've already stuffed in there, we're going to be spinning lefty-loosey. Really start cranking on it. Go slow to get it set in. And if you push hard enough, long enough, you'll get it to start spinning. Once it starts spinning, you don't want to stop. Keep going. Get her moving. Nice and loosened now. We should be able to flip it upside down and pull it out of there now. Okay, get some gloves on. That baby's hot. We'll flip that easy out upside down. Hold it in the vise. And crank it right on out of there. Now we've saved the RCPS die and in the future we're going to be careful when we're using exceptionally large cases this in this case is a military brass surplus that we're going to when we're using exceptionally large cases to make sure we use wet lube in the neck for neck resizing and on the outside for the case resizing you have to clean it off later but big deal it just works a lot better in this case. But if you ever get one stuck, that's one way to get it out. Thanks for watching. David Domenesi. See you later.